I'm not sliding in right now because um, I already filmed this whole video, but I didn't hit the record button. Oh my god, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sliding in now, doing the thing. Alright, let's try this again. Today's video, uh, really, it's, it's kind of a personal video, I just wanted to gush over something that I feel like I don't deserve, but is in my hands, and that is this blaster. This beautiful, gorgeous Talon Claw. It is magnificent. This blaster has quickly become one of my favorite blasters in my collection. Before we get too far into it, let's talk about where this blaster came from. It was printed and put together by Silver Fox Industries, but components were sent from uh, Captain Slug, Drac, and Foam Blast actually sent along a little GoPro with a mount that matches the filament here that can actually be like a blaster cam or a selfie cam or whatever, just like a wonderful extra little touch that was so over the top, I just, I don't even know. It's ridiculous and I, I'm so appreciative. It had been so long since I've done a gameplay video. I miss that. Any of you miss those videos? I miss those videos. Back on topic. This was a multi-person company group, whatever you want to call it, effort to put this blaster together and I'm not deserving of it. Like, let's be real. Uh, this was sent as a surprise to me. I did not know it was happening. I uh, opened this on stream a while back and I just, I just blew my mind. I don't understand why. I'm incredibly thankful and I love it, but I had to make a video about it because I don't know, I just wanted to gush about it, I guess, because that's I don't know where I'm at right now. But just because I'm undeserving of it doesn't mean I'm not going to love this thing so much. And I do. So obviously this has a tooth and nail mini inside of it from Drac. It has got the red uh, coloring on it, along with a red spring of the new um, Silverfox Industries SF 25 TC, and that is their new line of Talon Claw Springs. They're specifically like nice closed end colored springs for the Talon Claw, I think V3. Um, and I love that we have more options. So of course I bought the red one that's inside. I got a pink one and a blue one to match my colors. And I've been kind of wondering actually, is it possible, maybe someone in the comments will know, is it possible uh, to re-anodize an anodized piece? I think it's anodized, right? For the, the plunger and the sear and the trigger. Could I get those redone in pink or would I have to buy like an unfinished one and then send them out to be custom done to match colors? Is that how I would have to do it? I'm not certain I even want to yet because a while back I was talking with a friend about doing like a Talon Claw where like it was like my colors, like the blue, pink, white, uh, and then like there was some red, like translucent red running through it, like kind of my logo is a dragon and the red kind of represents the fire in the dragon's belly that comes out and you know, all of that stuff. And so this kind of accomplishes that in a sense as well. So I, I, I kind of may want to keep it like that. So I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but either way I thought I'd throw the question out there. And on the topic of uh, my logo, it is on both sides of the Magwell along with the Captain Slug logo and the Silver Fox Industries logo on the back here. I love it. Um, the fade on this, the 3D filament is just, it's so nice. And as you probably noticed in the uh, B-roll footage, there was this extra piece right here. Um, unfortunately, when I opened this, I was so excited, so giddy. Uh, well, the first time I shot it, after I loaded a mag into it, I forgot to close the breech. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Uh, so there is some, like the beginnings of a crack on this piece right here where one of the uh, rods goes through and I didn't want to risk actually breaking it so I, I paid for um, some extra pieces to be printed in a more uh, resistant 
material or, or, or filament as opposed to the fade, which is not quite as strong as your regular 3D filament. Um, so this way I can bring it to games and actually use it. And I have put hundreds of shots through this already just sitting at home, plinking around, shooting at targets and stuff like that. I adore this blaster. Of course, it does come apart through the pin system that makes it wonderfully easy to break down and reset up and change out springs and do really whatever I want with this blaster. And I love that. It just feels nice and smooth. It's fun to use. I'm really, I, I'm just so lucky feeling to have something like this. And I feel honestly, it's kind of like blessed to, to be able to experience something like this. And, and the fact that this is not the first gifted blaster I've been given is m mind blowing to me. It's one of those things where it doesn't feel right. I don't feel worthy of getting to have these things that people create anytime someone puts time, effort, passion into creating something, whether it's uh, printing and building someone else's design and doing it as you know high quality as they can, or producing your own design and something unique and wonderful. I feel so humbled and, and blessed and honored to get to hold these things and use them and have them. And I just, I, I, thank you doesn't feel like enough, but thank you is what I can offer. Um, and you know, the joy that comes with using said blaster, because I cannot wait to get this out to games. It is quickly becoming one of my favorite blasters and um, making me want to be a better Springer player because I am really bad with Springers. Definitely a flywheel player. So this, maybe this blaster will get me to spend more time in that realm and, and become, you know, at least adequate with a, with a Springer blaster. I didn't want this video to be about like, hey, let me promote a bunch of different companies in the hobby because they sent me a thing. I just really wanted to gush about this blaster, but I will provide links down below to, you know, the, the, the parts and pieces involved in this blaster. Uh, you know, if you want one of the K25 springs from um, Silver Fox Industries, I think it's a nice addition. I, I love having more options for springs that are colored and allow you customization. It's great because we have the Pro 26s for colored K26 full length springs for the Caliburn, and now we have a Talon Claw option for length as well. So that's really cool. But this just really, like I said, I, I I've had this and I've wanted to do a video about it, but I, I kind of was on the fence about it. And I said, you know what? For, I want to gush about a blaster. And this is what I'm doing because I love this blaster. I love using it. And I wanted to share some of my joy for this blaster with all of you. And I would like to hear what are the blasters that bring you joy? Like what are your favorite pieces, your favorite things in your, your possession, your collection? Why is that? What makes something special to you. I think that's that's kind of those things. And this, for me, like while it performs wonderfully and it looks amazing, it's so pretty, uh, it's the meaning behind it. And I think that's one of the important things is whenever I get some something in hand, it's like the meaning behind it, what went into it and all of that, that just, it makes something so much more special. And I think that might be part of why I love this blaster so much um, is just what went into it. So thank you to not only the people that are involved in this, but are involved in anything in the past that I have been so lucky as to receive. Um, and thank you to the people that just create and do things in this hobby. Because without you, we, we wouldn't have so many wonderful things. I certainly don't create. I enjoy. I consume. <laughs> the people out there, most of you, you create. You're amazing. I just get to enjoy your all of your work. So. Keep doing what you're doing, and uh, I, I, I'm gonna keep enjoying the fruits of your labor, I guess, and getting to see the wonderful things you do for this hobby. So, that's enough out of me. Thank you so much for indulging me. I'll see y'all next time.